Hi students, um, this is just a video to show you how to copy and paste from the content area in OneNote into your own section um, of notes or really any information from um, the content area in OneNote into your own um, area of notes. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up OneNote. Okay, and obviously my preference is to use the desktop version. If you do not have the desktop version, the easiest thing that you can do is to go ahead and um, just download it from uh, the Microsoft Office from online. And I can show you how to do that uh, in another video or probably maybe at the end of this video just to make it easier. So for this situation, this is for the collections that we've been working on and it's the two column notes specifically. So, as you will see here, I'm in the content library. Now, typically I say to you, make sure you are not in the content library and make sure you are in your own name, okay? So, as you'll see here, uh, I actually have all the students listed here, um, which you obviously will only see your name, uh, but uh, I can't get rid of all that. So you want to make sure that if you are going to copy and paste the information that you go to the content library. Okay, this is the place you want to be here, the content library. Now that is the stuff that I put in. Okay, so that is my stuff. And basically it's like you just getting the teacher's notes and being able to kind of make a copy of them, like a photocopy, which is really helpful, okay? Especially if there's a lot of information and you just, you know, and typing is just not your best, you know, your fastest thing and that's okay. So what all you have to do is, and now if you have a mouse, okay, this makes things a whole lot easier. So hopefully you have a mouse, but also doable on the trackpad, okay? so. All I'm going to do is I need the information here on this right hand side. Okay. Cause all the stuff on the left hand side, you already have available to you in the two column notes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and start highlighting. So I'm just going to click and hold on the left hand side of my mouse. And I'm just going to go click and hold and just start highlighting. And as you will see, if I scroll down and as I move my mouse down, it's going to just kind of highlight everything. Okay. Uh, including the photos that I have. Now I don't want this stuff on the left. Okay. So I don't want it to make it that gray. So if it does, I just need to pop my mouse more over to the right. Once I have everything highlighted, I'm going to let go of my finger on the mouse. Okay. Now don't click anything else yet. You need to go ahead and right click. Okay. So right click on the mouse. Now, if you have the trackpad, what you're going to do, the easiest way to do this is to hold down the button on your key on your, um, keyboard, sorry, couldn't think of the word, the keyboard that says control, which is abbreviated with C-T-R-L. And it is on the bottom row of your keyboard where the space bar is. And it is on the far left. It is the first, it is the first button on the far left of your keyboard. Okay, if you're looking down and you see the space bar, okay, all the way to the left. And it says C T R L. Okay, so you are gonna you're gonna hold down the button that says Control. So if you're using a trackpad, you're gonna use the button that says Control. Hold that down, and at the same time, okay, same time, simultaneously, same time, hold down the Control button, and then the letter C. C is in cat. All right, so you're gonna hit the Control and the letter C and it's going to copy the information. Now, if you have a mouse, okay, you're going to right click, okay, right click 
what you've highlighted, anywhere within the area you've highlighted, right click, and that's what you're going to see here on my screen. And now you're going to have all these different options that come up. You want to click copy. Okay, so now everything you've just highlighted is copied. And that is why we don't need the stuff on the left. We only need the stuff on the right. Okay, so now if I was to go into now my, as a student, my my work, um, I'm just going to pick a student who, oh boy, um, let me see here. I, think I have my, I have a student that is really isn't in class anymore. Here we go. So if I go into this student's work, I'm not even a student in our class any longer. And I go here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click into the first box, okay, this is, this is where I want my work to go, all right? So I'm gonna click on the first box. Same goes for you if you're using a trackpad, all right? You're gonna click on that first box, and now I'm in, you're gonna be in your section, you're under your name, okay? So now I've left the content library, and now I'm in my own name, and now you're in the collections, part one, which is overcoming fear, okay? And you are in your article, Fears and Phobias, and it should be titled, um, dated for 229.21, and it is your two column notes, okay? We've been working on this for a while now, which is why it's worth so much of your grade, okay? Because it's you guys have been doing a lot with this. So I want you guys to get the credit due. So what you're gonna do, if you have the trackpad, Okay, if you don't have a mouse, you have your trackpad. You're gonna go back to that control button, okay? The CTRL, that button. Hold that button down, okay? Hold it down, and at the same time, you're gonna hit the V, okay? The letter V as in victory, okay? The letter V. So control V, and it will paste, it will paste everything that you had copied. Now, because I have my mouse, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna right click again, okay? I'm gonna right click into this blank space, not on the left, on the right, where my blank space is, where I want the information to go, okay? I'm gonna right click. And you see how copy is not an option, right? Because I don't have anything highlighted. But paste is an option. I'm gonna go ahead and click paste. And oh, it put everything into one thing. So that is one thing it could do. Uh, the other option would be, now if I go, oh man, that's not what I wanted to have happen, like I'm doing right now. Up here, you see this little arrow here that goes backwards? You just say, uh-oh, undo. And it's gone. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is another way that we can do this. And so this is why we, we learn as we go. And you're going to go ahead and click again, uh, right click. And now see how there's this arrow here for the paste? There are different options. Okay, so we can go ahead and merge the formatting, meaning that it's going to go ahead and put everything together. So let's go ahead and click on that and see if that is the way we want it to look. Nope, that's still wrong. Okay, let's try one more thing. See, sometimes it's just trial and error, guys. Okay, well, this is interesting. Let's see. I'm thinking because this is a table. So we're going to do this one a little differently. So I'm going to click undo. And what I'm going to do, and if I can figure out another way to do this, I will let you know. But for right now, what I'm going to do is on the outside, okay, 
of my table. I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to say paste and you see here is my my table. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and everything's just going to kind of go click, click, click right into it. So everything kind of just goes. So all I'm going to do is just highlight, copy, paste. Okay. So everything's going to go side to side. So I have this here. Why it's not going to just neatly just transfer right in. I don't really know. That is a great question uh, that I don't quite have the answer to, unfortunately. But for right now, we have another way to get to our answer, which is awesome. So this is what we're going to do. Um, so basically, everything just kind of goes right down, and it still saves us from having to type everything. And this does not take very long to have to do that, all right? So which is great. So I'm just going to keep on going down my list and I'm just going to click, I'm going to highlight everything. And guys, it's the same process. Copy, click where I want it to go and paste. So typically what I tried to do the first time when you are in like Microsoft Word or anything of that nature, it typically will just fill in whatever table slots that you already have created which basically is what we have here. Um, why it's not doing that, I'm not sure. So that's what we have going on here. So I basically am just going down my list here, making sure I'm not skipping anything. And as you can see, it also uh, goes ahead and um, it copies and pastes my pictures too. So, which is really helpful. So then I don't have to do anything extra with that copies and pastes anything I've highlighted, copies and pastes, I mean, it literally copies it exactly as I had it. So I find that is a really super helpful thing. All right, and so now it's literally just as if I went and did this right during class. All right, so, and this information, now I would recommend that you do look through it, read through it. Now, if it's a lot for reading, that is understandable. So don't forget you have the immersive reader. So if you go to your, I think it's in view. Yep, go to view. Here's your immersive reader, okay? You go ahead and you click here, right? Where you want it to start. So we want to start reading, okay? Now this whole situation here, see how I just clicked on the top? Okay, let me do it again. See how I have here at the top here? See where this little gray bar is? Just click there, delete. Because I don't need all that, right? I don't need it anymore. I have what I need, right, in my two column notes. I'm good to go, okay? So I'm gonna put my cursor over here so it's blinking right where I want it to start reading. I'm going to go ahead and click my immersive reader. And now it's going to go ahead and bring me to this screen. And hopefully you can see this. So this is my immersive reader screen. Okay, so here you'll see it actually didn't bring me right to where I wanted to be. It brought me back to the top of my page. So here, because I, how do I know that is look here, directions. Okay, I don't, I don't really want to have to read through all the directions again because that's unnecessary. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and look here. What is fear? So I'm going to start here. What is fear? So I'm going to go ahead and start and say play. Okay, so, and then I have this weird symbol here because that's where the picture is. So obviously it's not gonna be able to read a picture. So it just changes it into numbers and symbols. All right, so this is reading, excuse me, this is reading all this text here. 
All right, so.